The first part of the season has been amazing. I've watched 22 or 23 games so far of the NHL season, and I get a bit from my season preview. I think I'm looking pretty good. I'm looking pretty bad. I never thought Colorado Avalanche would be doing as good as they have been doing. The LA Kings have surprised me in many ways than one, but they're coming back to earth. The Vancouver Canucks' bad start has shocked me. I thought they'd be better than this, but hey, you know, I said they'd be a sixth place team, and they're going to be a sixth place team in the Western Conference to make the playoffs. And you look at the Detroit Red Wings, they are not even, they're almost at 500. I can't believe this. You know, the Detroit Red Wings. We're talking about the Detroit Red Wings here. And they're around 500. Two games over 500. The Detroit Red Wings. I can't believe I'm saying that. I mean, the goal tendon problems for the Detroit Red Wings have been mediocre. As I would say, or one of the great commentators would say, it's been terrible. I mean, it has been terrible for this franchise. I mean, Chris Osgood hasn't been good i mean he's been average i mean you're playing for one of the greatest teams in nhl history and you can't stop a puck so you know there's been some rumors that the toronto maple leafs and the detroit red wings you know the leafs always having goaltending problems they want to get rid of one of their big ticket goalies and the name i'm hearing as we speak today for tuesday november 17 2009 Vesa Toskila could be on his way to to, to Detroit by December. I'm, I'm 100% sure, but I'm going to have to take another look at this rumor. I think uh, it's possibility could be by December. I'm not sure if he'd have to clear waivers, but the rumor is that probably going to give up maybe one of their young players off Detroit in their farm system to acquire Toskala. That's a big money pickup for um, Detroit. They might have to shed some salary. I don't know if they're going to give up maybe Brett Lebda or any one of their defensemen, but the word is that uh, the Toskala move to Detroit is a possibility, and there's another rumor, maybe Toskala going to the Montreal Canadiens for Yaroslav Halak. And there's even another rumor that they might trade Carey Price I'm not sure Montreal would do this after the last game he played. He stopped 53, had 53 saves, the most in, I mean, in about 30, in about 25 years. Uh, I think the last player to do it was, oh, was it? Yeah, 25 years. It was a goalie in the 70s that did it for the Montreal Canadiens, and it wasn't named Dan, um, Ken Dryden. So I got to admit, this could go down. Um, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see some trades as we get close to the American Thanksgiving. One rumor had Frolov going to the Canadians for the Knutson brothers. That's still on the table. If Montreal falters in any more of their games, it's a possibility, folks out there, hockey fans, that it could be a trade for the Montreal Canadiens to get their team on pace, you know. If the Frolov deal goes down, it would be a recommendation trade by Mike Camilleri. He wants his old centerman back. And that makes sense for Montreal. They need some more size. They need some more speed. Not so much speed, but they need more size up there. And I think that's one key thing. And they need a defenseman. They've been looking for a defenseman forever, folks. And um, I hear that the Edmonton Oilers and the Montreal Canadiens are thinking trade. And I wouldn't be surprised if Sheldon Surrey ends up back in Montreal. I don't know who would go back for him. But I wouldn't be surprised in the next few months before the Olympics, the Montreal Canadiens and Edmonton Oilers hook up on a trade. Either at the trade deadline, after the Olympics, or before the Olympics. We'll see what happens. And uh, I look at the other teams like the New York Rangers. They got off to such a great start. Same with LA. And now they're starting to come back to earth. It's it's fascinating. It is fascinating. The Islanders are on a roll. John Tavares has proven that he is the number one pick. But how about that other player I was talking about? Evander Kane. I said this guy's going to be the rookie of the year. So far he has five goals. He has about ten assists. He's just lighting it up. So is Ansi Kopitar, leading the league in points. It's 31 points so far. The guy has 10 goals, 30, um, well, is it 25 assists. He's just lighting up the lamp. He's insane right now. 
He's doing it all. Ansi Kopitar and Ryan Smith. Who had a thought that Ryan Smith could still play? I mean, the last few years, he's just been hanging on by a thread. And he's really turned it around. And I got to admit, folks, I'm just glad to be back. Thanks for watching. There's some good hockey games tonight around the NHL. And you know what? We'll see what happens. I love the game. Keep watching. We'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.